Okay, so for the doctor, what we're going to do is two exercises back to back. The first exercise here is called box squat. What we're trying to do is really stick the bum back as far back as you can. Use a chair, use a couch. You're going to end up sitting on it, but I really want you to push your hips back and not bend the knees forward, okay? So when you see from the side, you're going to watch my hips as I really stick, stick, stick them back as far as I can. Notice the way my knees don't go forward at all. That means all my weight has been transferred into my backside, back of the thigh, and through my heels, okay? So you're using the hips to drive up, squeeze the bum, your hands for a bit of balance, upper body staying really tall. Chest up, head up, drive from the hips, squeeze the backside, slowly down, sitting right back onto the chair. Come up, squeeze the bum through the heels all the time, okay? So you're going to do 20 seconds of that. You'll take 20 seconds rest and come down to the floor to do what's called a cross body mountain climber. You're going to keep your arms nice and strong and bring one knee over towards the opposite elbow. So you see the way I'm bringing my knee over right across and back. Now your range of movement may not be as good as mine. That's okay. Just bring your knee across as much as you can. Notice the way my upper body is staying nice and strong and straight. Okay. The weight should be shifted forward rather than back like so, but it depends on your strength levels. Keep trying to increase it bring your body further forward if you can so 20 seconds of that you'll take another 20 seconds rest and repeat back to box squats 20 seconds of box squats 20 seconds rest 20 seconds of mountain climbers 20 seconds rest you're going to go through each of those four times alternating so eight rounds in total and then you're going to take about one to two minutes rest round two is the exact same format 20 seconds work 20 seconds rest just two different exercises okay the first exercise is squat thrusts the easiest way to do them is with a step back and a step forward. You need to lean on your upper body as you go back and as you come forward you're going to sit down onto your hips. So step forward and sit the bum right down to the heels. Step back, lean forward, then step back, lean onto the legs, sit down into it, okay? Stepping back and stepping forward, sitting down into it. That's the easiest way to do it. To make it more difficult you're going to put a jump forward. So step back and jump forward, squash the calf. So see the way I'm dropping my hips right down onto my heels and then to make it more difficult, jump forward, jump back, jump forward, jump back. 20 seconds of that, take 20 seconds rest. And then we're gonna do an exercise called kneeling walkouts. So you're gonna do this on your knees, put your hands down onto the ground and you're gonna walk your hands forward and let the hips come forward, but you're in control. Don't let the hips flop down or sag down. Then you push with your hands back and then come forward again. What we're trying to do is we're working the abs here and the arms and the shoulders, back of the arms. We're really working the abs as we come forward, allow the hips and shoulders to move together and back together. Okay, so hips and shoulders coming forward. If that's your range of movement, that's perfectly fine. Just work with whatever strength you have. But we don't want to let the hips sag down or we don't want to let the hands go too far forward like so. See, when my hips are up, my hands are too far forward. And also, we don't want to let the hips sag like so. So we're going to finish with the plank, which is an ab exercise. You can do it on your knees or on your toes. On your knees is easier. But make sure when you're on your knees, you're having your hips nice and flat in line with the upper body. There's no point in sticking your bum up in the air like I'll show you at the end. So when you're coming up from the ground, use the abs to hold yourself up. Avoid letting the hips sag down. You want to stay nice and straight and keep the shoulders relaxed. Get the abs doing all the work on the knees or on the toes. But there's no difference. You notice when I drop to my knees, there's no difference. When I come back up, my shoulders back hasn't changed at all. Okay, so it's the exact same position. This is just a holding exercise, but don't do that. Don't allow the hips to come back. So that's the doctor. 20 seconds of work, 10 to 20 seconds rest, depending on your fitness. Alternate between two exercises, four times each. So that's eight rounds in total. Round one, you're doing box squats and cross body mountain climbers. Round two, squat thrusts and kneeling walkouts.